Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela. Today I'm going to show you my empties for December. So empties, if you haven't seen it before and if you haven't followed my channel, is that I go through my bucket of empties, uh, beauty related or some people do candles and teas and those kinds of stuff too. I do candles, not my teas because uh, yeah, I do drink a lot of tea, but I don't don't include it in my empties. Um, and when I go through my empties, I will also tell you if I'm going to repurchase this item or not. Um, I usually start with shower items in the beginning, but I have some very big items here on top that I think I'm going to start with. And actually, there are, there is three candles I have here, uh, up here. Uh, this month was not very empty uh, because I didn't I didn't use that much stuff so it's a uh, kind of um, yeah little items in, in this one but I'm gonna start with the candles because they are taking up the most space uh, first off we're gonna start with this that looks like a red apple this is from Ikea was it last year or two years ago and this is really like a Christmas candle it smells like um, caramelized, caramelized uh, apples and cinnamon and I don't know what but it looks like this so it burned kind of awkwardly and this side is still intact um, I will try actually this time around to melt down all my candles that I still have like a little bit of wax, uh, wax in it uh, and do some wax melts which I have never done before so wish me luck if I can do that so and this was actually on sale last I think last year or two years ago so I paid like five or ten Swedish crowns um, and then we have two uh, candles that, that are from uh, Primark uh, first off we have this pineapple candle um, and smells like pineapple looks like this I have already made this loose and taken out the, the wick but it was like burned down to the end of it but as you can see it still has uh, wax and then here in the middle it burned a little bit more but yes and actually it was really a pretty uh, candle I didn't want to burn it because it was like this color but then in the middle it was uh, it wasn't a pineapple in jello so then we have from uh, one more from Primark uh, dew kissed blossom looks like this and this is not my first one of these ones. I have used up one more, I think earlier this year. I'm not sure. If you want to see if it was this year, uh, then you can head over to my uh, one year of empties of 2019, which will come up soon. <laughs> it just takes so freaking long time to film it. Um, this smells really, really nice. And this burned actually really good. Um, it's just a little bit on the sides as you can see um, but in the middle it's burned all the way down and I think these are like is it one euro to your 50 or something like that because I don't have the price tag and I think this is bought in Spain if I'm not mistaken and I bought two of them um, so let's see shower well the only shower item i have in this actually is my jumping juniper shampoo from olash um in the beginning of last year yeah beginning of oh god beginning of last year so in 2019 because today is the 2nd of the uh, january 2020 but uh beginning of last year in 2019 i went to stockholm with my parents and i had already like starting to think about uh, dropping all plastic as, ma well, as much as possible and I went over to using uh, Lush shampoo and uh, conditioner bars so this is actually number three I think I don't remember I think it's number three I'm on number two, I don't remember, uh, of shampoo bars. Um, the other one that I have used is um, the yellow one that smells like uh, lemon. I always want to say Monte Albano, but it's something like that. 
Montpello. Ah, I don't know. But this was Jumping Juniper. It's a purple one. I uh, didn't like it as much as the yellow one. So uh, right now I'm using something with coconut. Um, so this one I don't think I will uh, repurchase. This one I actually bought in New York in the summer when I went there. Um, and the guy in the store, he was like, oh, you can try this. But yeah, I think it's the first and last time I'm gonna have it. Um, what else? Shower. I don't have any more shower items. Wow. Uh, I can do this instead then. We will continue with face. I have one small sample of a Biotherm Blue Therapy Revitalize Day. Looks like this. It's just one milliliter or 0.03 fluid ounces. Um, I have had a lot of uh, different Biotherm um, samples. Yeah, don't like it that much. Uh, let's see. I can take perfumes. So, <laughs> again, I have used up one uh, Yuzi Couture. Uh, Yuzi Couture is one of the perfumes I have used up the most, I think, these last two years. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've used up like 15 bottles or something like that. Um, obviously, the, the, how big they are, it's a different, like, this is 30. So I have had from 30 milliliters to 75 milliliters bottles. And some I have bought like second hand, like someone has already used it and the bottle wasn't really completely full. Uh, but this one I bought myself. This is a Bau... Baudacious. I think you pronounce it like that. And this is a 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. So it looks like this and it's because of the bows on it. Bows? Bows? Okay, English is not my first language. Uh, bows or bows or whatever you want to say. Um, I think it's bow. Bodacious. Bodacious? Yeah, bodacious. Sorry about my pronunciation. Uh, so it looks like this. And do I have one more? Wait. Yeah, I have one more of these. I had to check my inventory like real quick. Yeah. I have one more of this and then I have one more Juicy Couture. Um, which one? Le Fleur, I think. Like, I'm trying to see what I have. I think I have two more Juicy Coutures and then others. Um, I have finally decided to change my toothbrush again. This is um, my Magic Mud. Uh, I bought a two pack of um, bamboo toothbrush in. Washington DC. Uh, so in the summers I work as a chaperone or a language uh, teacher leader and uh, this year again I did the trip coast to coast so I started in Los Angeles and ended in New York and we traveled with the kids from one side to the other side and well we stopped somewhere and we went to Washington DC, DC as one of our last stops before New York and yeah, we had a free day exploring and it was so hot that I went into, I think it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls because they have air conditioners <laughs> and I bought a new tooth toothbrush. Um, I have continued to uh, use a uh, toothbrush that I made of bamboo but not from this brand because we don't have it here in Sweden. Um, let's see. Oh. Something that I also bought in US, but in Los Angeles, because when I came to Los Angeles, I was like, hmm, I'm missing something. And what I was missing was cotton swabs. Swabs? Yeah, swabs. I, I'm used to saying just Q-tips, but Q-tip is a brand. This is cotton swabs. Swabs? <laughs> yeah, English is not my first language, it's my third, so. Um, this I bought at a dollar store? Yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think it was dollar store. It was close to our hotel, at, at least uh, there in Hawthorne Hoth in Los Angeles. So yeah, 200 and I used it up now in December. 
Um, let's go over to, well, actually, oops, sorry. Together with that, with the cotton swabs, I'm also um, taking out from my inventory or my life or whatever you want to say, uh, this one. This is actually to have the cotton swabs in here and then you take them out because I've gone over to a reusable cotton swab or Q-tip or whatever you want to say it. Um, so I'm in no need of having this anymore in like on my beauty counter. Um, yeah, I don't, plastic again, so yeah. Um, so, uh, when that said, I have some items from cold or medicine, I should say. Uh, first off, I have a bag of Vicks Double Action Sugar-Free Eucalyptic, Eucalyptus um, Pastels, what do you say? Yeah, for the throat. And how many were there? I don't know. It's 72 grams. Uh, and I don't know where I bought this. It have to be here in Sweden, I think. Yeah. I had a sore throat and I needed something, so I went and bought. I have also used up six of the strep seals, uh, honey and lemon. This is a continuation from uh, November month also because then I had the full pack. Um, so yeah, I always use strep seals. I, I, I like them. Uh, I have also two paracetamol, 500 milligrams. Um, I get headaches and uh, I have migraine, so this is what I use. And lastly, before this bucket is empty, um, are two items uh, to do with my hands and my nails. So I have the uh, Bath & Body Works Pocket Back Peach Mango, one fluid ounce or 29 milliliters. Uh, this one don't remember when I bought it, but um, I have a tendency when I go to US, I buy like a five in a five or ten uh, each time I go. I think this is actually from this year. No, it can't be. No, this has to be like from 2018. Because now when I was in, in New York in... February of 2019 I actually bought five and that's the ones I'm using now so yeah this is peach mango smell good um, I always have a tendency to buy buy this when I'm in the US something that I'm not going to buy in the future because this is something I actually got as a gift uh, in a giveaway from the brand it's OPI Avery juice sweet lemon sage hand and body lotion so it's also one fluid ounce, looks like this. It wasn't completely full when I when I started using it, so it was around here. And yeah, I've used it up completely. Um, why I'm not going to use, like, buy this in the future is because it's way too watery. It's, it's like putting diluted hand cream with water. Um, it takes a really long time for at least my hands to soak this up. Uh, I have I use like other hand creams that my hands soak up immediately, but this was like um, smelled good, but it was totally like sticking and not drying it down, and it was it was so watery as you perhaps can see that it it's not yeah I don't I didn't like it, but yeah I got it for free so. I'm finally done with it, so that's that. So yeah, that was uh, all my empties for December of 2019, because now we are in 2020. Uh, I hope you have an, you had a, a very nice New Year's and that you have a great start to the new decade also and to the new year. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.